Hello guys, as you are aware, Facebook announced that they have introduced shops to help users easily sell uh, the products. So today I just want to show you how you can utilize shops by Facebook to sell your products. All right. If you can see this site, you can see any tab about shops. You need to add it as one of the tabs. So to do that, first of all, go to settings. Okay, on settings, I have to go to templates and tabs. Okay, now I say he's using, um, I need to go to tabs down here. You see, these are the tabs that we saw, but there's no shop here. So I'll just go ahead and say add tab. Okay, I want the shop tab. So I'll just click add tab. It means the tab has been added to the menu. So I'll just close this. I'll go back to the page. As you can see now, the shop tab now is available as one of the menus. So I'll just click on the I'll click on the shop, on the shop menu. Then it's telling me um, I have to agree to the terms before I continue, uh, to the terms and conditions for the shop. So I'll go ahead, I'll just do that. But if you want, you can go ahead, click on the link and uh, read um, uh, the terms. Okay, I say continue. All right, how do people uh, check out? They have to send me a message or maybe you have an, another website that handles that for you. You can check that. But for my sake, people will just message to buy. So I'll say continue. The price, you can put whatever currency there. There are a lot of currencies. You can choose your country. So your currency for your country. I'll just leave the US dollar there. Then I'll say save. Okay, so now this is the page for the shop. You see? All right. So you can put a description so that people know what you're selling. So for this, for demonstration sake, I'll say uh, tutorials. Tutorials in different ICT fields. Okay, I'm just a self, but for your case, you can put uh, the root description about what are you selling in your shop? Are you selling clothes? Are you selling baby baby clothes? Are you selling shoes? Are you selling? So you can put a clear description there that people should know what you're selling. Okay, now that I have the description, I have to add products to my shop. So I'll just click on add product. All right. So I can choose photos here, I'll click there, choose photos. I can drag and drop the photos there. Um, let me do that, let me see. Okay, I have some photos here, let me just drag these three for me. And I'll drop them there. Okay. You can also choose other photos within your page. So if you do that, let me click on this. You see, all the photos that are on this page can be selected. For example, I select that. So I say, okay, use these four photos. So these can be photos of your products. So I'll give it a name. What's the name of this product? I'll just say tutorials. What's the price? I'll say, I'm selling these at $50. You can also check whether that product is on sale or not. So the description, you put the description of your products, um, step by step, step by step, tutorials in different, different ACT fields. Okay, let me put some space there. All right, okay. You can also share the product on your page. Once you post it on the shop, you can also go to the page, but I will not, I will not select that. 
is, is the product in stock or not? So you can uh, toggle here whether it's in, uh, in stock or not. Visibility, you can put public, private, but it should be public so that it, it, uh, it gets visible to a lot of people. What's the condition of the product you're selling? Is it new? Is it refurbished? Is it fair? Is it used but in good condition, like new, whatever? But I'll say new. Okay? So say add product. Okay? So the first product has been added. As you can see here, this is the product. So I can add as many products as I can. I can also add another product here. That means you take me to the list as well, and then I'll add the product. You can also organize your products as collections, okay? You can also share this collection to another page, okay? So I can share it on my page, or on the other page that I manage, or on my timeline as well. You can share that so that people know they get through the, all the product images, a, B, C, D, but I do cancel. I don't want to share this. You can also create ads for your products within the shop. Okay. You can also add collections. You can organize your things into collections. Let's say you're selling t-shirts. Everything that goes, uh, everything, every product and t-shirts will go into that collection. Uh, shoes. Any product under shoes you can go to that collection. So to do that, you can you just click on add collection. Then, by default, the collection that we have is featured products, but you can create new new collections. Let me click that. That means you can put the name there, and you can add products to that collection as well, so that you can organize your things based on the type of the product you're selling. Okay? I'll not add the collection. I'll go back. So, click on, on my shop. So... You can do a lot of things with the shop. The beauty about it, uh, as a seller, you're given a priority when you're using shops and just um, posting directory on your page. Uh, the features that strictly built for the shops to help you reach a number of people easily and sell your products. So this is a good initiative from Facebook. Uh, we need to utilize it. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can inbox me, but don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Just search Planet Senga. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to rate me on Facebook as well. Uh, rate me in um, um, whatever you feel like. Um, is it, am I doing a good job or bad? Just do that. I appreciate. All right, guys. See you in the next tutorial.